Hey everyone, Tony here, JP Wisco, back with another video for you. And today I'm going to do a kind of a little mini showcase of some of the random uh, cards of Japanese major leaguers that I have. I uh, thought that would be fun. Uh, sort of, um, you know, basically you're not going to see like uh, <clears throat> Ichiro, Otani, kind of, you know, Darvish. I'm going to go back to kind of maybe some of the notable Japanese major leaguers that you forgot about or didn't even know about. Uh, so let's get it going. Well, okay, I kind of lied. The first couple ones are uh, more well-known, but uh, let's, st <clears throat> let's start it off with a nice Hideo Nomo rookie. So this is a 1995 pinnacle uh, Hideo Nomo rookie. I like the back on this one where he's like blowing a bubble. And I have this 2003 Donruss Elite Hideki Matsui rookie. Um, this is numbered to 1750. And here, this will be kind of the last more sort of, shall we say, memorable player, well-known player. Just thought this was a really nice one. Here's a 2017 Topps Chrome X-Fractor Masahiro Tanaka. And Masahiro Tanaka still doesn't have a home as far as I'm aware. I know he did say he might just return to Japan if he can't... Uh, either return to the Yankees or get the kind of deal that he wants. But I think he's he's willing to have a one-year deal. Okay, uh, next up I got another Topps Chrome X Fractor. This is from 2014. Uh, who remembers uh, Koji Uehara? And he was a pretty solid relief pitcher uh, for the Red Sox. And unquestionably the most notable... Um, moment of his career uh, was closing the 2013 World Series uh, and the victory for the Red Sox. So he threw the final out of the 2013 World Series. Uh, next up, we've got a rookie card, uh, 2006 upper deck rookie of Kenji Jojima. And Jojima was the first Japanese catcher uh, to play in the major leagues. Uh, here's a Japanese player I remember well um, as kind of a closet White Sox fan while well, they're kind of my adopted mate, uh, American League team. Um, here's uh, Tadahito Iguchi. And they called him Gooch. And Gooch won the uh, world, he won a World Series with the White Sox in 2005. Uh, this one's numbered to 799. Uh, Upper Deck Ultimate Collection from 2006. Um, okay, sorry, here's, a no well, here's another kind of more currently known Japanese major leaguer. I just thought the card was cool. Uh, here's a 2018 Topps Chrome Pink Kenta Maeda. And I believe Kenta Maeda, if I'm not mistaken, was the runner-up for the uh, 2020s AL Cy Young with the Twins, I think. And then, of course, Darvish was the runner-up in the National League, uh, meaning that uh, two Japanese pitchers were the runner-up the runners-up for the Cy Young last year. Fun fact. Uh, here's a 2020 Panini Select Shogo Akiyama rookie. Um, Shogo Akiyama, the fun fact about him is that uh, until last year when he made his Major League debut with the Reds, uh, the Reds were at that time the only major league team to have never had a Japanese player on their roster. 
Uh, but Akiyama changed that and made, and so now every major league team has had at least one Japanese player uh, play for them. And here's a Japanese big leaguer who's maybe, well, yeah, uh, maybe the most near and dear to my heart. Uh, definitely the best uh, Japanese player to ever play for the Brewers, uh, and that's Nori Aoki. And Nori Aoki was a pretty solid leadoff hitter. Um, one of the more successful position players uh, in the big leagues among Japanese players. Um, and then finally, uh, this is a pretty cool one. I've got a Hiroki Kuroda rookie card. Uh, this is 2008 Upper Deck. Kuroda uh, joined the big leagues really, you know, old, really late. He was in his 30s already. But he had a remarkably solid big league career. Um, at least according to B-War, that's baseball reference war. There are various different wars. But according to B-War, his career B-War uh, ended up exactly the same as Hideo Nomo. Uh, which is a pretty interesting fact, right? Nomo is definitely the more well-known, more celebrated pitcher. But Kuroda uh, compiled uh, the same B-War as Nomo in a shorter time, and he also debuted uh, at an older age than Nomo did. Um, I remember Kuroda, he was kind of a snake-bitten pitcher. He never got run support. And another fun fact about him is that he ended his major league career with as many, with the exact same as many wins as losses. So he had a 500 record uh, for his major league career. And I just remember him never getting any run support on the Yankees or the Dodgers, which is surprising, right? Because it's the Yankees and the Dodgers. All right, so now this is the this is the main event of this video. I want to show you something really special. And I got a hold of these. And do you know what you're looking at here? Well, these are two unopened packs of 1993 Tomy ID baseball cards. So, unopened packs. These are awesome looking packs. By the way, look at the back. It's got this like weird art on it. It's like a crowd or something. And, of course, this set, this Tomy ID set, uh, is where you can find uh, this card. This is uh, an Ichiro Rookie. So, you can find this card within these packs. Uh, other notable cards are... Uh, Hideo Nomo and a Hideki Matsui rookie. So you can get three pretty prominent cards among some other cool cards. So uh, what I'm going to do is I am going to rip one of these packs now and I will save the other one. I'll keep it sealed uh, for the foreseeable future if not forever. Uh, but I figure I've got two of them. I'm going to rip one, see what's inside. I think that's just going to be really cool. Uh, so, maybe, you know, maybe I'll hit the jackpot, get Ichiro. But it would be very cool to get Nomo or, you know, um, the Hideki Matsui rookie would also be fantastic. So, I'm going to open these right now. Um, I've de I'm going to open the pink pack. Uh, I like the blue one a little better, so I'm going to keep the blue sealed. Uh, but I'm going to open the pink one. Uh, so I don't know. Oh, okay. So that might have. All right. Well, the, as you can see, these aren't like, these aren't like normal packs. They have like, I don't want to ruin this. Uh, okay. I think I'm just going to cut it because I want to save the wrapper of the pink one, even though I opened it. Um, so I think what I'm going to do is just. Oh, actually, I think I can open it this way. Nope, not gonna, I'm just gonna cut it. <laughs> All right, I got scissors here, because these don't open like regular packs, so I don't know how they expected people. Now, the trick here is I don't want to cut. 
the cards. What a tragedy that would be. So I'm going to very carefully cut. And it's a little bit open. All right. I'm going to pause this so you don't. And we're back. Okay, so that was really our dome. And I struggled with it for a couple minutes. I don't know how kids and stuff were busting these. They, well, I mean, they probably weren't as careful as I was, you know, back then in 1993. But, okay, so here we go. Um, so we've got the first card is this is the, as it says on the wrapper, Wild Scratch card. So here's Wild Scratch card, Double Chance. Uh, and then it says, catch the prize, signature cards, bass balls, <laughs> B-A-S-S -S balls, uh, Japan sometimes, uh, major league cards, double chance for more prizes. So this is pretty cool. Uh, and then the back. Um, okay, so the first card is, man, these are, these are crispy. Uh, here's a Kenji Nagami for the Lions. So, I mean, it's kind of cool to see the other cards from this set. You know, the, the Ichiro is the one that everybody with that purple border is kind of exposed to. But as you can see, these had various colored borders. Um, and I believe the high numbers in this set are actually borderless. So, uh, next up, we've got a... Tatsuji Nishimura with a nice red border. And that's for the Swallows. We've got a Noriyuki Mori. A Kosaku Akimoto. For the Bay Stars, Yokohama. Show you the back. And these are the zero zero one, the first printing. So uh, the this this set came in two printings. Uh, they look exactly the same. However, uh, they just um, the serial number on the back of the cards was a little different. Um, here's a KG Suzuki, and he's a manager for the Oryx Buffaloes. Or, sorry, no, not Oryx. Um, I forgot who the Buffaloes were because, uh, the Blue Wave were Oryx at the time, but the Buffaloes were, their company was something else. Okay, and we got, <laughs> hey, we got a Westerner in here. Uh, we got a Lloyd Mosby, uh, so for the Giants, that's pretty cool, and man, I'll tell you, I saw this purple border for the last card, and I thought I hit pay dirt, but instead, it's a Satoshi Nakajima, so, uh, blue wave. So as you can see, uh, again, here's the Ichiro. And here's another Bay Stars card, uh, Satoshi Nakajima's. Okay, well, that's all from me. I hope you enjoyed this. I sure did. Um, I'm very tempted to rip the other pack, but I'm going to keep it sealed. I think that's a better idea. So, All right, guys, thanks for watching. Peace.